Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm struggling again with this builder that I'm doing work for. Some of you from the recent videos, I put a link up in the corner. Um, I was struggling with a bit of motivation on jobs and I put it down to working i've got started to work with a different with a new builder now on a couple of jobs i've followed on from a few plumbers that have done bits so people you know we never like doing that from the off however this job um is one of first fixed about three months ago um first fixed it just the hot and cold side of it heat inside and is that done by a renewables company so i first fixed it and i said to the builder guy i said look i'll first fix it for you help you out i said but i can't get back for three or four months he was like yeah no that's not a problem the last two months he's been on at me you know when are you going to get back when are you going to get back so it's been bubbling at the back of my mind i finished the house renovation it was bubbling in my mind then um so I, I literally came back yesterday fitted a few valves filmed that for another video that's coming in a couple of weeks but i've just got no get up and go for this job and i'll show you some bits in a minute why um i'm just not not gelling with it that the plasterers have been in and plastered obviously me not coming to the job for such a long time that to come and do it so i've got to cut out a lot of the plaster which the builder knows about to get access for valves but then i first fixed it to the drawings and i've come back now and they're not having vanity units so it's all pedestals basins to which the pipe work is in so it's just a it's just a mix and match of everything i'm, I'm waffling along a little, a little bit now and some of you may find it boring plumbers you know a lot of you may find it interesting because it's exactly what happens on jobs but um I'll take you in a minute here and show you exactly what I mean. And a lot this morning, again, sorry, this morning I've got there at you know quarter to eight. There's a massive, great big truck full of 20 grand's worth of bathroom suites ready to go in. It's not even been plastered, boarded, boarded, plastered, tiled, or anything yet. So I've had to handball all this lot off this morning, which pissed me off because no, there's nobody else there. Put it into a container that there's no room. I'll show you the container as well. I'm just going on now, but um, I just want to sort of vent a little bit, and it's what really happens. So that's why I'm telling you about it. Um, I'm just shooting off now to get some some breakfast, but when I come back, I'll take you for a bit of a, a, a tour around and just show you why it's pissing me off so much. Um, there you go. Anyway, if you got to this point and you know, like, subscribe. It's not always all this doom and gloom. It's usually quite good, but it's just one of them videos. And I wanted to show you because it's what's happening. So, right, let's go and get some breakfast first. And to top it off, here's another reason why I'm not keen on this bleeding job. Look, because of those puddles and that that we've just come through, the van's absolutely minging quite precious with my van but yeah it's absolutely minging right i'm going to take you down now and show you um show you inside this build um and just why it's sort of annoying me a little bit and i'll show you the container and that that i had to unball off and and just basically a bit of an insight on this video as to why sometimes jobs just get under your skin a little bit so i'll take you down and show you so this is the job some of I say some of you may remind, remember it from an old video. But uh, it's a big old job. It's basically two there were chicken sheds, I think. Here. There were chicken sheds and they've been converted into two barn conversions. Basically this one goes to sort of here, oh, as you can see on the ridge on the roof there, and then the second one. They're identical. Um, just sort of like back to back of each other. But uh I'll take you in now and just show you exactly what it's like. Alright, I'm not going to walk through the glass, look, see? There's no glass in it. So, yeah, this this is the one that's plastered. Um, uh, there are the shower, shower trays that I've got to go in. Absolutely huge. Seven, 1700 by 900. 
Um, so, this one, for instance, the pipe work was behind for the uh, for the, the the rainfall head that's going to go along there and out because showers going here, huge showers going here. So a niche going there. So I had to cut there, make sure it was up there, expose that, which I've done. Um, expose these pipes because they were just behind the wall. Again, the plasterers have been waiting, so you know you can't knock them. But the builder knows I've had to cut it out, get the valve in. So I'm going to connect them up shortly. Um, but what I am quite concerned about is the size of the shower trays on my own. I don't know how I'm going to sort of manoeuvre them and get them in. So this is what I was on about with the vanity unit. The vanity units on the drawing came flush with here, all the way across. So the basin would have been there and the toilet there. So with the units there, I was going to lose all the pipe work and that in the back. I was going to go up to the basin, toilet, not a problem. Whereas now, they're saying it's a pedestal and basin here, which is in these boxes. Pedestal, basin and toilet. Well, I've said, I've, I've carcassed it to that. Um, so what I've suggested to them to do is, basically this has got to be boxed high level and then boxed in, obviously altered the pipe work for them, high level, boxed in. So that's just the flush again and then work off that. Because you know, without cutting half the walls out, and that, where are you going to hide the uh, soil pipe? But that's that. Um, Bass going in here. I think these are having vanity units along, fortunately. And again, they've plastered it. I've had to cut it out the top. And I'm just coming in here, turn that out before we get done for copyrights. Again, I've had to expose that, expose that. Shower tray going in there. I don't know how I'm going to manoeuvre it. And the same again here. You know, I've got the saw pipe to poke in there shortly, but this was going to be vanity units. So it's just dead annoying, really. And that's why I'm not really gelling with working with this builder. Um, I'm sure it might be all right, but just for now, I'll just... Uh, just wanted to share it with you really. I'll open this container up and show you exactly what I mean with this uh, stuff I had to handball out this morning. So that container was empty. So I've had to get 20 grand's worth of uh, bathroom fittings in there. It's literally wall to wall. Um, so, but as you can, I'll take you now and show you the other build, the other side. It's uh, it's nowhere near. It's crazy, isn't it? Look. But I'll take you through to, to the next door. I mean, that one's not really ready. It's got to be tiled and everything yet. So why this lot's been delivered out, I don't know. But I'll take you into the one, the other side. I'll take you to the one, the other side, and just show you at what what point we're at with that one. It's nowhere near all that stuff coming out. But. You know, I'm just sort of moaning about it because it's uh, it got bought out at quarter to eight this morning. I spent an hour sticking it in there on my own. Sound like Victor Maldry, do not I? Right, so this is this one. Um, say, it's not even been plastered. The, the plasterers are here doing bits, but the, these bathrooms have still got to be boarded out um, with, with, you know, boards, cover the valves up. Um, and then it's got to be plastered. This one's the same, it's got to be boarded and that yet. You know, there's probably three, four weeks work in, the, in boarding, well, probably two weeks work boarding, skimming these bathrooms out. Same with this one. Um, you know, again, vanity units here, it's carcass for vanity units where it's not going to be. So, there's a little walk around while I'm uh, just not sort of feeling it at the minute. Um, hopefully, tomorrow I'll. Uh, Get a bit get my head into it a little bit more but i just don't know how i'm going to move them trays and stuff so that's about it uh say a little bit different but i just wanted to sort of show you sometimes you're up against it or you just don't gel with the job and this is a prime example of it uh right hopefully see you sunday hopefully i'll have got my head into it a little bit more and it might be a little bit better right Later.